wow, okay, there's something like really odd here. But take three of this intro. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Um, if you like this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, well then just subscribe and click the little bell right here so you are notified every time I upload a video. So if you have not seen this eye tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, it should already be up on my channel. If not, well then I will put it up. Um, and I will link it below when it is up. So, basically, like I said, for my eyes, I use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, the original. And for my foundation, I tried using the Shiseido, um, what is this? The Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow Foundation. And it wasn't really working out for me. And I don't know, I am not in the really, like, best lighting space right now and like uh I don't know if I told you guys this video is like all over the place sorry but I am in my new room right now and this is potentially my booty room I hope to basically make the lighting better add a vanity in the back which I hope to do within the next two weeks I already have my mirror I literally just need the table from Ikea so yeah I hope to order it or go pick it up this week and then put it together with my uncle or my cousin someone who can kind of help me um, put it together because I'm not really good at that stuff so I really hope to have that soon here on my channel and I'm very 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 excited to have like my own space and like basically my filming space and just somewhere where I can like come and chillax and like record my videos which I really love and play with makeup you know so like I said I'm very very excited for that and I'm sorry I have not been here for a little while I explained this in the video that I did with the Jaclyn Hill palette but I basically had a sty in my eye and so what a sty is like from my understanding it like happens when you have like some type of bacteria or something get into your eye so I literally cleaned like deep cleaned all of my brushes because I usually just spot clean it and like I don't know what was causing it so I just didn't want it to come back and I'm really glad that it went away it lasted for like a week so once it went away like during that one time during that one week, I literally just spent the time to really clean my brushes. So I did like two separate brush cleaning just because I have so much brushes. So I'm just very glad that I got that done and over with. But let's just get into this video. So today, as you can tell from the title of the video, it is going to be the battle of the concealers. So if you saw the first video, which if you haven't, I will link it down below. Um, I tested the NARS and the the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Urban Decay um, Lightweight Skin Concealer and in my opinion the NARS was better just um, coverage wise, lasting wise, price they were the same so it really didn't affect it much. So basically whichever concealer wins it advances to the next round and in the end I basically will try out all my concealers that I have and I have like a basket full like I literally organized all my makeup a couple days ago like a week ago by now and I have like a whole basket of concealers so I am going to be testing all of them out for you guys um so yeah we're gonna put the NARS on my left side and we are gonna be testing it against the Sephora gel serum concealer um this is in the shade 06 Madeline I am going to go to the Sephora website and quickly check how much each of these are and like just a little bit of information on it okay. so like I have said before the NARS concealer is $31 and it has and it has 0.22 ounces in it this is in the shade vanilla oh no yeah this is in the shade light to vanilla and it works pretty well with my skin right now and this is in the shade 06 Madeline. Oh wow, okay, this is usually $14, but on the Sephora website right now it says it is $7. So that to me is a steal because I have used this so much and I know how it works. Um, it's a pretty good concealer, but I'm just letting you guys know. I did not know this, but it literally says that it is $7 right now. Um, there are a couple shades sold out, but they do have... A pretty good selection of colors so that is a plus and um, this says it has 0.14 ounces so it has like a little bit less than the NARS but it is like a fraction of the price so to me like that's really really great 
Um, like I've said before, I tried the Shiseido foundation and I really was scared to use it my first time because the lighting wasn't so great and I don't know, I just went with something that I knew. So I'm using the NYX Total Control Foundation as my foundation today. So yeah, let's just get into this review. So, like I said, on the NARS, we are going to be applying it on the left side of my face and the Sephora on the right. The color will not, the color will not impact my thoughts on the concealers or anything like that. So I will give both of them a fair shot. Um, I'm just going to be dipping a little bit into my concealer and applying that. I will say with the Sephora concealer, you do have to dip in a couple times, even with like a brand new tube, to get a decent amount of product on there, which might not be ideal for everybody, but you know, I just want to let you guys know that that is something you might not like. So I'm going to go in with my Eco Tools sponge that I used to apply my foundation and just go ahead and blend that into the skin. So you can see it is like I would say a medium coverage concealer. I don't have that many dark circles so I can't speak to say like it covers very 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 dark under eye circles but I do have like a little bit of veins and stuff like that and I can't say it covers that so I'm guessing it covers dark under eye circles and on the left side I am applying the NARS concealer. I don't apply too much concealer on my face just because I am not the type of person to like cake on the concealer. So I just apply like a moderate amount and then I blend it onto my skin. And for the middle of my face, like down the bridge of my nose and things like that, I am going to apply the Sephora concealer. And a little bit on the tip on the bridge of my nose right in the middle of my forehead and where foundation tends to come off which is on the side of my nose um, let me just say that the Sephora concealer in my opinion is a very 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 good concealer to apply on days that you don't want to wear foundation and you just want to maybe apply concealer all over your face or to spot conceal. Um, that is how like I majority of the time used to use the Sephora concealer and I would literally just use that as like my base and Maybe if I wanted a highlight, I would grab like a different shade of concealer. I only have like one shade of the Sephora, but like I said, I have plenty um, concealers with different shades. So I mean, the, the Sephora concealer is really, really good if you just want to apply something to the face and not too heavy spot conceal, things like that. And this is what the skin is looking like. After I have applied all of those concealers, or not all of those concealers, but both of those concealers, and I am going to go ahead and use my Cody Airspun powder, and give me a second. It's this Claire's brush, it's like a double sided brush, and I'm going to use a small one. Pick a little bit up on the brush. Blend out any creases I might have under my eye. Just dab it under my eye. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same with my left eye. Blend out any... Blend out any wrinkles that might have set in my fine lines. And then with that big fat fluffy side, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face because I am so used to setting my whole face and I love it 
So that is what I'm going to do. And so I know how both of these concealers wear throughout the day. I might look a little bit weird because I don't have bronzer on or blush or highlight. But I am going to say that the Sephora Gel Serum wins this compared to the NARS. Not only because of the price, and like I said, it does contain a little bit less. It contains like 0.7 or 0.8, I think it's point no. It contains 0.6 less product than the NARS, but this is $7 at like right now at Sephora. And even then, I would pay $14 for this. It's really, really good. Like I said, it's really good for concealing under the eyes, around the nose, on the bridge of, or around the nose, on the bridge of the nose. And it's really good just to wear on its own. So I really, really do think that the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer is worth more of your money than the NARS. So yeah, what advances next? is going to be a Sephora concealer and I don't know what I'm going to be comparing it against but in my opinion the Sephora concealer is the way to go um, compared to the NARS. So I am very glad that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did give this a thumbs up. Um, I will be back next week or maybe in like five days or so and I am going to do another round of concealers. Like I said I don't know um, what I'm going to be comparing it to. But I am very excited to see which one I put it against and then which one wins. So I am very, very excited. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!